at the Blue Lakes Trailhead here, just outside of Breckenridge, Colorado. Today I'm going to be hiking the Cristo Coular of 14er Quandry Peak. I think this is like the third time filming this intro over the course of the last couple of years. This uh, line is tricky to get because you kind of flirt with balancing the avalanche conditions, which need to be stable since this is a pretty steep line, but also the lack of snow that if you wait too long, the line melts out. So hopefully today found the sweet spot. It is gonna be warm today. So hitting this as early as I possibly can while being in daylight. Cristo Coular is a short one if you can get to the base. It's about just under a mile up and obviously takes you to the summit or right below the summit of Quandry Peak. However, because of the snow levels in the last uh, number of years, you have to park down here at the winter closure, which adds about two miles of hiking to get to the base of it. As you get closer to the reservoir here, the reservoir is over to your left, just a bit away. Might be tempting to take these slopes to your right. You could do that if the snow was uh, continuous, but usually it won't be. So you want to keep going all the way to the reservoir and a little past it before you actually get into Cristo Coular. Up at the reservoir here, North Star Peak, looking at you over there, and uh, Quandry in front of you. So what I'm going to do is kind of round the corner here and hope for a continuous snow, a booter, but you really could start climbing here. It's kind of up to you at this point on where you start the uh, climb. Transitioned to climbing gear, so I have my helmet. I have an ice axe that I'll t or a mountain axe I'll take out in a second once it gets a bit steeper. And uh, yeah, obviously crampons as well. People ask me all the time what I'm using in the video for gear. Check the description. I link all of it and their affiliate links so they could help support the channel and they uh, cost you nothing. Cat. Not for breakfast. About 12,100 feet here. Let's talk a bit about Cristo. It's about 2,500 feet from the bottom, maxing out around 40 degrees, so not super steep, but good kind of intro to intermediate Hular. Seasonality wise, you're hitting this definitely when snow is consolidated. How late it'll go, that changes year to year. I'd say mid April to early May, maybe. This is kind of looking up the real climbing. I'm going to stay to this left side here um, because if there is any chance of shedding or wet slides, I can be kind of closer to the rock where I have a bailout point if I need it. Needless to say, this is uh, avalanche pro terrain. So definitely know what you're doing. Have some basic education at the very minimum. Uh, check out the video I made about basic avalanche information for hikers. Uh, I'll link that in the description too. There's looking down, back to the dam reservoir. Beautiful look around you here. This is a look at the upper section. Some of it is like off to the left. It's about 12, seven. Never really know what to 
show you guys in these couloirs without getting repetitive, but just about 13,000 feet here. I'm hoping to get another, I don't know, 500, 600 before the couloir dries out. And then it should be kind of hopefully perfect timing to hit this snow on the way down. I would say this couloir is good, um, especially when the snow is good like today. It's just continuous, it's wide. You can kind of hash your bets a bit by sticking closer to the left side where you can be closer to the rock. Looking ahead here, doesn't look like much, but this is the steepest section right in here. And that'll take us to right about 13.9, and that's probably where I'll turn around, just given snow coverage and time of day. Closer look at the final section here. Looking back down and over. It's the end of the line for me. I have maybe about another 100 feet I could hike up, but it's getting late. The goal was not to summit Quandry. The goal is to ski and climb Cristo, which I feel like I adequately did, especially hitting the uh, crux here. Essentially, you're gonna just take the easiest way out and the summit will be just up over there, melting out. So even if I did hike up to there, that's pretty much the end of the road and uh, snow's warming up faster than I thought. So I gotta move before it gets dangerous. This is a great time to plug my Quandry Peak Trail Project. I've partnered with Colorado 14ers Initiative and we'll be um, doing some trail work. Everyone's invited. The more volunteers, the better. We have a, a space for about 20-ish, so there is limited spots, but I encourage everyone to come. You can hang out with me. There's my timer to turn around. And of course, uh, do some great work to help improve a very popular 14er. So uh, details on that in the description below. That'll be August 2023 for all of you watching in the future. All right, now for the fun part. Let's get some turns in. in the little runnel down here from some wet sides earlier probably yesterday this week the past weekend or something um, awesome
some snow. Probably pushing it on how warm it was, but that's why I turned around and didn't keep going up because uh, I was starting to sink uh, just about to my ankle and that was kind of my, uh, yeah, I'm good point. So awesome uh, riding so far. I think this point out will not be as fun, but I'll try to link up as many turns as I can. All the way down here to the old upper trailhead blue lake reservoir wow that was fun uh i always wish i didn't film as much because i would enjoy it more in the moment but filming keeps me probably more cautious and really emphasize my carves which is good as well to keep an eye on the snow so now you have uh, either a walk or hopefully a ski slash ride back down to the lower trailhead where well, I'll wrap up this video but Christo Kular looking at it up there behind us here pretty fun day if you're a snowboarder even on the best of days you'll probably have to walk a little bit but Getting pretty close to the car now. Back to the car now. Let's give you some final stats. So I had about four and a half miles, 2,000 feet of vert, and uh, yeah, I was able to get pretty much most of the way. A couple of walks, but all intents and purposes for springtime with it this warm. I'm not going to complain about how far I was able to get on the on the uh, split board. So, yeah, overall, Crystal Coolar, uh, a good day. Definitely recommend this one. I mean, it's obvious I didn't summit Quandry, but again, if you're getting into spring lines, that's not really the point of doing them. Uh, it's to climb them and ride them down, which I feel like I successfully did today. Obviously, if you're looking to check off Quandry, you could definitely do that, and you can even go down the standard way and end up kind of down the road that way and just hike back up to the car or vice versa hike up the uh, standard route and then go down Cristo. If you're new to my channel I do virtual trail guides here in Colorado in addition to some outside U.S. expeditions as well so go ahead and check out all my playlists and videos. Uh, I do have a new Patreon you can help support the channel through some awesome benefits with that or shopping gear on my website, thevirtualsherpa.com. Of course, all of these hikes have a full guide with a lot more information, my GPX file, etc., that you can download over on the website, which is linked in the description of this video as well. That's gonna wrap up Crystal Coolar on Quandry Peak. As always, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all on the next adventure.